from the tops of the trees to the bottom of the sea. Hello everyone and welcome aboard my 15 foot boat called the Intense. We're on a one mile track surveying a 90 foot area at, using three high end digital type cameras. These cameras fly over the seafloor and they're able to look at each other, spin around and see what the seafloor life is like. Sitting next to me today is Jeff Benjamin, and he's one of our mission specialists. Jeff, what's our objective today? Again, we'll be looking at the seafloor, looking for changes, um, things that stand out, mostly for invasive non-native marine plants and animals. A lot of those things get brought into our waters from cargo vessels and military ships through their ballast water, because they've been coming from all kinds of different places around the world. And you know the best thing about this is we don't have to get wet and we don't have to take the risks of actually going diving. And we're going to be sending off satellite image to our guys in Fife when we get back out there, of course. So as we're working to get the information over the internet so the people that have the right knowledge can view it and understand what we're doing, we're getting ready now to just download this really exciting squid nest that we found in about 15 feet of water. And we are capturing it on our computer, getting ready to send it through the airways, as they'd say, this squid nest here, so that the scientists and the people involved in this project can be in their office Turn on the computer and view in real time what we're seeing. How cool is that, huh? So now we're finishing up this quest, working along the seafloor, researching what's on it, and looking at things like this, the squid nest. <laughs> How cool is that? Bye-bye, everyone. Be safe out in the water and continued good success for you people that are trying to help assist the cleanup of Puget Sound.